we're looking at a sheet of the of a diagram of the joints of the foot and what we can see is this foot doesn't have any phalanges. So these are the metatarsal heads up this end. So we've only made it as far as the metatarsals. So then we have um, the cuneiforms and the cuboid. We have the navicular here. Now this is the neck of the talus. And then this line here, going around here, shows you the trochlear surface. So that's the trochlea of the talus all inside that unbroken line. And then this is the calcaneus. Now then, these other lines here are showing us joints and articular facets, and we'll do them one at a time as we, as we cull them in. So it's a good idea to probably do the um, functional joints first. So what, what we do, we come along to the key, and we colour in the line here, functional subtalar, and that is this dotted line here. And of course it works better if you can follow the line, but you know, it's optional. Um, so that's the functional, this dotted line is showing us the limits of the functional subtalar joint. So everything inside that line is part of the functional subtalar joint. Then we have the mid tarsal joint. So we colour it in there on the key. It's this dotted line here running across the foot from medial to lateral and I'm trying, maybe not being completely successful, but I'm trying to keep inside the dotted line clear. We're going to colour that in in a minute. So that's another functional joint, which is a combination of a, of a couple of different synovial joints. That's the mid or transverse tarsal joint. Then we have our third functional joint, which is the functional tarsometatarsal joint. And that's this one here between the tarsals and metatarsals. And again, it's made up of several different anatomical joints. Now let's move on to the anatomical joints. So here, we've got some more to colour in. The anatomical subtalar first. So that's that one there. And the anatomical subtalar is just this pair of facets here. So there's one facet on the talus, one on the calcaneus, they're the posterior articular facet on, on, on each bone. That's the anatomical subtalar joint. So there's one anatomical joint there, and that's it. Then, in front of that, we have another couple of facets, or two pairs of facets, and they're part of the talo-calcaneo-navicular joint. So these two facets here, this one here, on the talus and calcaneus, so there'll be one on the talus, one on the calcaneus, and another one here, Another pair of facets here. Those ones there are part of the talo-calcaneo-navicular joint. Now, where else is the talo-calcaneo-navicular joint? Where does it go? Yeah, it runs in here, in between the talus and the navicular. This is the more vertical part of the joint. So on here, it's just a thin line. But there it is there. That's the talo-navicular part of the talo-calcaneo-navicular joint. So it makes up the medial half of the transverse tarsal joint. So the talocalcaneo navicular joint is about half of the functional subtalar and it's about half of the functional transverse tarsal. So it's one anatomical joint, so there's one joint capsule around all of that, one anatomical joint, but it makes up half of two different functional joints. Now then we've got the great tarsal, and this one, well I suppose it's pretty great, it's great fun anyway. There's, so we'll make it dark green, the great tarsal goes across here, down here, in between the cuneiforms, in between the metatarsals and the cuneiforms, and then usually up in between those metatarsals. So it's quite wide ranging. So it's all of those surfaces there are part of the great tarsal joint. Then what we have left um, are the, oh I missed the calcaneo cuboid, or, or at least I haven't done it yet, sorry. So the calcaneo cuboid joint is of course the lateral half of the transverse tarsal. So there's the calcaneo cuboid just between the calcaneus and the cuboid there. So, the la so that's one anatomical joint, one joint capsule. Then we've got a lateral tarsometatarsal joint, which is here. So this is between 
the cuboid and, cuna and uh, metatarsals 4 and 5. So that's the lateral tarsometatarsal joint. And then, of course, we have a medial tarsometatarsal joint. And you probably guessed, of course, that that one's going to be over here between the medial cuneiform and the first metatarsal. So that's one separate anatomical joint there as well. And then we have a couple, oh, I forgot to colour it in, of course, a smart person will colour it in on the key so they know what it means. And then lastly, we've got a couple of intermetatarsal joints. They're the only ones that are left are these ones. So those are intermetatarsal joints there between the first and second and the fourth and fifth metatarsal. And that's where the joints of the foot are. 